folks, yeah, this is Miguel from the Embargo Man channel, so, this is a video response, this is a response to Teddy Rupskin about the Sega Master System, alright, put it in this way, Teddy Rupskin, do you remember the Atari 7800? Then, this is the one of the dumbest decisions that Atari have ever made. They just come up with a failing game console, right? Trying to compete with Nintendo, right? And then, this is one reason that, perhaps, Atari wouldn't have the chance that they decided, okay, the Sega want to freaking bring out a game console, even though Sega did, wanted to decide to call it the Master System, if Atari wouldn't have been so stupid, they would have just ditched the, ditched the 7800 and boom, be the distributors for the Sega Master. That way, that means instead of Tonka, you know, those metal trucks that we all know and love, instead of Tonka distributing a video game console that have no damn experience on video games, then Atari would distribute the Sega Master in North America, and they know there, they have been in the video game market longer than Tonka. And that way, what would happen is that their first video game, including in the package, I mean, in the, the release date of the 7800, would be Hang On. Right? Included. And plus, what else is gonna, what else is gonna be? Oh, most likely, like Atari, Atari have exclusive games for their own console. Maybe some of the Atari games would be on the Sega Master. Probably Pac-Man for the Sega Master might outsell Super Mario Brothers, right? Even even though it could include Alex Kidd, then after that, and then it might include Afterburner included, and so on. They might it probably might have Pac-Man included with Hang On, like. What Nintendo did with with uh, Duck Hunt and Super Mario Brothers, right? So that means that even though the light gun and stuff, you know, Atari, I mean, Sega would make some their version of Duck Hunt or whatever, you know, or Hogan's Alley or something like that, you know, that's it. What was what is going to happen if? If Atari were to distribute the Sega Master System, well, Sega will take a shit on Nintendo in North America. Like, left and right. That, you know, that, would, that Sega would Atari against Nintendo that Nintendo wouldn't hold a candle next to the Sega Master with if Sega were to, the, the Sega Master system were to be distributed by Atari, right? Because, because why? Because Atari was in the game was in the game for a long time and they were the first ones to enter the video game console first. And then if Atari wouldn't have been smart enough to ditch the seventy eight hundred and go ahead and release the master system in North America, in the United States of America, then all of that would mean Atari would be in a safe place, and they might like to say they're going to release all the games that were released for the Atari 2600 would be translated to the master system, like Centipede, like Space Invaders, and like, you you know all the all the Atari exclusive games that were in 2600. They'll be in the Sega Master system, 
you know, I mean, Atari would freaking make the games, right? But just for the Master System. What's so funny in case of that Alex kid outside of North America would be the mascot. But in North America, just because of Atari, probably Pac-Man would be Sega's mascot. Because during the Master years and then Sega's, Se Sega having Pac-Man as the mascot... In North America, then Sega would begin kicking Nintendo's ass left and right because of Atari, you know, and that's what it is, Teddy Ross Rupskin. Think about it. Think about what, what Atari would do if they distribute the Sega Master. You know what they do? They're going to kick Nintendo's ass in North America, and probably Atari might merge with Sega. And they start a Sega, Atari Sega company or something like that. SG, ASC, right? ASC, right? That's what it is. Atari Sega company. Probably and even Sonic would be the would be joining in the Atari mascot or or something like that. Why? Because of this merger. And then, I mean, there would be a. a whole different story if Atari would distribute the Sega Master in North America, right? Is is just make it this Teddy Rubskin. You're right about this. It was a it, it was the the dumbest decision. It was the dumbest decision for both Sega and Atari. The dumbest decision for Sega that they said that a company that made metal trucks would be selling the Sega Master System and the packages look like nothing compared to the pack to the box art in other countries, right? The box art for Sega Master in North America is nothing compared. But if it were to be Atari, if Atari would make the smart decisions, you know, fuck the 7800, let's bring out the Master System, let's bring out the Sega Master, then the box art would be similar to some, in some of the video games would be similar to the box art of the Sega Master games released in Japan, and probably some of these games released for the Sega Master, including ones that were made for the Atari 2600, would be better off, better box artwork. Because why? Because Atari was, was in the video game business before Nintendo, before... Well, well guess what? They even have, will have better box art than Nintendo's, right? That really show, oh, this is an awesome box art. This is, why? Because Atari was, is on Sega's side. The only thing they won't include is the Nintendo games that are made by Nintendo for the Atari for for the the Atari consoles, especially at 2600 and 5200. They were like, you know, the only gonna get for Sega games. Sega would be, would be making their own games, right? Atari would make games like Pac-Man and stuff and Centipedes. For the Sega Master System. They even might get Miss Pac-Man for Sega Master, right? Just because of that. Because Atari was involved in getting the 2600 version of Pac-Man. You know, it was like the worst home ports for Atari. But if Atari were to be distributed by... If were to distribute the Sega Master System... Then in that case, the Sega Master version of Pac-Man would blow off the 2600 version, right? Then there would be like, like you know, Super Mario was, it was between Super Mario and Pac-Man. Then Pac-Man would be outselling Super Mario Brothers if. Atari were to distribute the Sega Master System, right? So, all, in a, all it is that, I mean, I would 
say that Teddy Rubskin, you have to do to a video of of me, Miguel from the Embargo Man channel, saying that I am right about that. If Atari were to distribute the Sega Master in North America, then you see that the box art you are comparing then if it says for some if it says something about the Sega Master System, all the TV ads would say Sega. Sega Master by Atari. And the box art will, will be awesome. Better box art than what Tonka would release and they will say Sega by Sega by Atari. Right? So I would say goodbye, peace out, Teddy Rubskin. Please make a video about me saying what if Sega, I mean, what if Atari distribute the Sega Master in North America? And everybody else, please subscribe to the, the Embargo Man channel. Take care, Teddy Rubskin. Please do a video of if Atari, if Atari distribute say the Sega Master in North America. Once you see this video, you will blow your mind of what you would think, Teddy Rubskin, what would Atari would do if they distribute the Sega Master in North America.